And recently I was listening to someone and he said, you know, my greatest asset as an entrepreneur is I'm not scared to fall flat on my face. And he said, when I took the fear component out, it really made me so much more fearless because I'd already lost so many times. And I mean, he has a multi-million dollar operation. He said, but when you have the humility to be like, I'm going to do it and I might fall flat on my face and they might laugh and they might say, she's crazy. She's this, she's that, but you don't care, right? You're still willing to put yourself out there and not necessarily worry about what the people are saying on the sidelines. It just kind of looks like the risks are eliminated. And so when I was thinking about that for myself, I thought about the first time that I lost everything because I wasn't prepared. I mean, I was so naive, just so naive. We had built uh, six figures, done really, really well, hadn't planned. And here it is. I had someone in my corner saying, Nicole, this is not a strategy. Why are you running this business like a nurse? And all the warning signs were there, right? And I'm blowing him off. I'm just like, I don't want to hear this right now. And then winter came. And I lost everything and did not know what to do, which was a big blessing because much of what I teach now came out of that season of my life and obviously perfecting that. But when I listened to the gentleman, I thought about that and I thought about some of the risks that we're taking now and some of the things that we're doing in our own business. And I was just like, there's no fear. Like there's really legitimately no fear. And I'm like, if I'm not afraid, if you're not afraid, it really makes us, I don't know what the word is. It really makes us like invincible in a sense because all of it is contingent upon like fear, how we think other people are going to perceive it. Will I lose my house? I mean, when we lost everything, we lost everything. Our home was in foreclosure. We were trying to keep it together. At the same time, my husband had just walked away from his business and I convinced him to do that because the the staffing firm was doing so well, I needed his support. And so all of these things going on, right? And we're trying to keep it together and not realizing like, hey, that's a part of entrepreneurship, right? Not realizing it is a risk that you take. And so now being much more mature and obviously further in business, that risk is not as scary. And the risks are way more calculated, right? Because there's obviously been some some entrepreneurial dexterity um, acquired over this time. But here's what I'm saying. And especially if you're just listening, like to me, what's scary, to me being broke is very scary. It's scarier than the guarantee of being, I could be broke, someone else is in charge of what I make. Like that's really much scarier than the risk of pursuing the millions, the multiple millions, even the billions. And so I think a lot of times people just succumb to that fear without clearly thinking about with like, you're just okay with staying the same, being here. I know what it is. I'm safe. But the real thing I think is the fear, fear of the unknown. But I think the questions that they're asking, you referenced this a little while ago about asking the right questions. I think they're asking themselves what happens if I fail And honestly, I started asking myself, what happens if I succeed? Like, you want to do all this crazy stuff. You're telling people you're going to do this. You're going to do, well, what happens if you succeed? What happens if you succeed again? And honestly, that is when we went national. After a period of nine months, no business, no clients, I had become basically a janitor. Um, My husband had started a a demolition, like a a post-construction cleaning company. And so I went work for him because I just still was like, I'm, I promised that I was never going to sign the back of a check again, right? And so I honored that commitment. And so for nine months, I'm scrubbing toilets, I'm cleaning gyms, and I'm thinking about my business that I once had. And to me, that is when, first of all, that's humility, right? If you, one day, you know, you're here and then the next day your head's in a toilet, scrubbing it that'll bring you down to earth right (laughs) but at the same time it also is something that I think ignites the fight to go I'm never gonna go back here again like this can't happen but now seeing what was on the other side of that it eliminates the risk 
because there really are no risks unless you stop.